Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for listening. We're broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM Clear Channel Studios, iHeart app, and yorbamedia.com for all those listening outside the borders of the United States. All right, I have got Chris Travers, president, co-founder, UBL Interactive, symbol U-B-L-I, on the show with me today for the next couple of segments. Chris, welcome to the show, and thank you for showing up. Well, thank you very much for having me. We appreciate the opportunity to tell our story to your listeners. Uh, my, my, my pleasure. You've got quite an illustrious background. You've been in the uh, uh, broadcasting industry for, for quite a while. Let me pause and back up a bit, give you a chance to tell our audience a little bit about you, this, you know, one of the steering arms of, of your company. And by the way, I applaud what you do. It's, it's amazing stuff. And then we can dive right into uh, UBLI uh, Interactive. You can tell us uh, more about the company and maybe in the second segment we can go into some of the 2014 uh, goals and things of that nature. Sure. Uh, well, um, you know, my background is I'm a journalist by trade. I uh, started out in newspapers and TV, radio in Australia. I uh, worked in the UK and uh, was with Reuters for about 13 years in the United States, including um, during the Reagan White House. Uh, and I've done quite a few um, media and marketing startups as kind of media information and advertising and data all converged. Uh, I've been involved in a number of businesses in uh, the New York area where I live, uh, dealing with uh, the opportunities that have come out of that. Um, so it's been a, a great run for me. Well, you've taken that wealth of, of wisdom you've developed over those years and you put it to, to really good use with uh, UBLI Interactive. Let, let, let's dive into that because I think uh, one of the things that you do is you've, you've really made revolutionary uh, changes in the way people search on the Internet. Well, open that up for us. Yeah, well, I think one of the things that people have not realized is that um, search has changed quite a bit. Everybody thinks, oh, we searched Google five or six years ago, we searched Google now. But the results that are shown today are far more evolved than they were many years ago. And particularly if you're looking for a business location or a business service, for example, I'm looking for a plumber or a specific restaurant, one of the things that Google, and this is true of many other search engines, does today is they show these structured profiles, these structured data results called business listings inside the core results assuming they know where you live. Or if you had uh, put in something that said, I'm looking for a, um, an attorney in New York City. So these listings are deep profiles about businesses. The name, address, phone number, just like the old yellow pages, but also hours of operation, uh, links to their uh, website, links to their um, Facebook profiles, descriptions, etc. So there's a full profile that is built out. And the, the thing that has happened is that th this data uh, is very complex in the way it's distributed around between Google, Bing, Yahoo, yellowpages.com, all your navigation devices, your mobile phone devices today. So it's actually a very incestuous data complex flow. And what that's led to is that a lot of that data, which you would think would be very simple and straightforward, is actually highly complex and wrong. So there's recent studies that say that over 50% of people have visited a closed business after they've searched online for a specific business. And our studies show that over 40% of that data is inaccurate. So what we've done at UBL Interactive, which stands for UB Universal Business Listing, is we've created a place where businesses can come in, load all their data, all their profiles about every one of their locations, whether it be one or 10,000, and we make sure that that is accurately syndicated universally out to all these internet destinations, from your phone, from your social networks, to your, uh, to your mapping services. And that's, that's what our business has done. All right now, how tell tell us? Let's drill down into that the mechanics of it. That uh, let's say a, a normal corporation, how would they leverage exactly what you're doing? Because what what you do alone is 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 a good breakthrough. It's it's great breakthrough. But connecting the dots on leveraging what you're doing with the rest of the marketing that people are trying to to work with. Can you, can you bring that out just a little bit? Sure. So um, one of the things about UBL is that we're very much a believer in white label businesses. In other words, 92% of our business is done through resellers. 
And this is one of the ways we're able to scale our business significantly without having to hire 10,000 workers on the street. So for example, we work with the largest agencies in the world that handle accounts through us for companies such as Walmart, um, Cigna, um, Waste Management, etc. And we also work directly with um, companies such as Wells Fargo and FedEx to manage all their locations around the internet. And the way that works is in the agency environment, um, they represent businesses and they're helping them with their websites, with their advertising campaigns and everything else. And this business listing, this location information is considered a foundational aspect of marketing. So we fit into the work that agencies are doing for other folks. And similarly, in our largest growth area, not just in the United States but internationally, is where we're working with large media companies that are working with SMBs, small businesses, um, and large businesses too. But what they're doing is they've, they're the ones who have 2,000 feet on the street, the large yellow page companies, newspaper groups, television, radio uh, outlets. And what they do is when they're selling advertising services, mobile coupon services, any other kind of marketing um, uh, campaign, they are now including UBL as a component of that. And whether it's clearly stated that it's an external service or whether we're fully white labeled, um, it doesn't matter to us. We're happy to sell the service at a discounted rate to those resellers and they do all the front end work for us. And so we're a back end fulfillment um, environment as well. And that's how we're able to scale. All right, talk to me about market share in your space. Well, uh, this is one of the great stories here too, which is that this has been, you know, in the last five years, it had been a bit of a backwater of marketing and not much attention had been given to it, this whole what we call local search or presence space. And um, I can tell you that YP.com, which is um, the old Yellow Page uh, group that was owned by AT&T, believes now that this present sector is a $4.9 billion market with an 11% growth area. And there are 20, for, for example, in the United States, there are 20 million approximate number of business locations in the USA. UBL has, is one of the largest, if not the largest provider of this kind of service. And we've only served maybe 250,000 businesses. There are two or three other players in the United States that maybe have served around 100 or 250,000 uh, businesses as well. So you can see that this is a very nascent market just coming to the fore um, and there are competitors. Um, GoDaddy just bought a company called Lo Loku uh, to get into this space uh, and they promoted this service uh, during the Super Bowl. Um, a Constant Contact which is an email marketing company that your listeners may be familiar with. They bought a company called Single Platform for $100 million. Uh, and so they're getting into the space. But we are one of the leaders. Um, we are uh, operating in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Australia, and have contracts to grow further and faster uh, internationally. And uh, we're one of the few that are working um, outside of the United States borders on this field. Uh, we've got about a minute left in this segment, and uh, you were talking about uh, real growth patterns outside the borders of the United States. Just curious, what, what would be the geographical location that you're seeing the biggest boom in your business? Uh, I would say uh, Europe. Uh, Europe is very strong. They have the same complex um, publisher situation that we do here. So, you know, they've got Google, they've got Yahoo, they've got Bing, they've got uh, local yellow page companies that publish this kind of data. So we see a lot of growth in, in uh, UK, Germany, France, Spain, uh, all the Scandinavian countries. It's a massive growth market for us. Wow. All right, let's 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 do this. Let's take a little break. I want to cover uh, the mobile search web on the other segment and as well as some other content. But before we go, please, contact information for you and your stock symbol. Uh, the stock symbol is UBLI. Uh, our IR uh, investor relations website is ublinteractive.com. All right, we'll be right back uh, with Chris Travers, president, co founder, UBL Interactive, UBLI, the stock symbol, and special thanks to Monk Media and 1 800 Public Relations.com for all their PR and media support. We'll be right back. 
Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM Clear Channel Studios, uh, iHeart app, and for those outside the borders of the United States, yorbamedia.com. All right, I'm joined by uh, Chris Travers, president and co-founder UBL Interactive on the show, symbol U-B-L-I. All right, Chris, uh, when we left uh, the last segment, I wanted to see if we could open up uh, what's going on in the uh, mobile social web uh, sector w- regarding uh, UBL uh, Interactive. Well, I think one of the interesting things is that um, you know our business thrives on fragmentation, and Many of your viewers may, uh, listeners may be thinking, well, you know, there is only Google search. But when you realize that Apple Maps just launched their own service, Amazon announced yesterday that uh, they're going to be coming out with a rival uh, service that uh, uh, would go after the Yelp space. Yelp is growing globally. All of these things are happening uh, in the United States. There's increased fragmentation on the places where people are searching through every app that they have on their phone uh, in particular. Um, and this is going, uh, every country we go into, where 10 years ago it maybe just used to be run by the local telephone company, all this data used to be provided by the local yellow pages. Now there's an increasing number of players in the market, and that's causing a lot of growth in interest in our service, where we can make sure that the data about a business and their location is accurate across each one of those devices and social networks. One of the interesting things about social networks is Facebook is not known as a search uh, site particularly, right? It's about social connections. And yet more and more businesses, particularly small businesses, are finding that it's a good thing to manage their business profile on Facebook. And people are discovering them there. So businesses that are ignoring Facebook and sites like Yelp as a source of making deep customer connections are actually ignoring a great opportunity uh, for them to find themselves uh, discovered by the customers. So this is a uh, another uh, growing area of interest uh, for us and uh, we're deepening our relationships with publishers. We're installing uh, API connections to them to do real-time updates on an increasing basis. Uh, and taking what was once a very manual process for these individual businesses and organizing it into a very highly uh, technologically architected um, uh, interaction for them. Believe me, that's laborious to do that, but you know, on a, it, it is. It's a so welcome your service. I, I have to tell you, doing it myself, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, let's, if we can, drill down a little bit into that and, and break it open. How do you do that? I mean, the mechanics of what you do that that takes this to the next level and reduces the cost and workload that you've got to expend on that. Yes. I mean, we, we've done estimates that if an individual business location were to try to do this themselves, they'd probably take about 40, 50 hours of work. Yep. And we do all this for them for somewhere between $100 and $300 typically um, and a one-time fee uh, per annum. So it's very cost-effective for them. And the way we've done that is by typically with the resellers, we have um, API uh, uh, way methods to take in the data from them through um, real-time data connections, which are called APIs. Mm -hmm. So we take the data in into a database. We have a, a platform that's got a, 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 an interface that allows a business to update their profiles in the one location. And then we um, validate the data and we either push it out via an API to the publisher or we have um, robotic methods that are part automated and part manual um, in a highly structured business process that completes the task of filling out these profiles and updating the content on these uh, sites. It is a very difficult task. We're on our third generation of this software, which is one of the reasons why we have great leadership in this area. Um, and we blend onshore, offshore, and technology um, to make this happen for customers. And we believe that um, our ability to do this effectively is, is uh, one of our greatest advantages. And just to give you an example, I mean, if you as a business were to build a Google profile, You will have to verify that either with a phone call or a postcard or some kind of direct connection with that location with with Google as the publisher. And most publishers 
of note do this. We take care of that and coordinate that for uh, the uh, the business um, as part of the process of doing that in, in compliance with the Google process rules. So that's one of the one of our strengths. Uh, it's one of the most complicated parts of what we do, and it's what's driving a lot of the interest in in our business uh, for resellers to make it easy for them. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up because uh, you know we, we def- if you're new to this space, you definitely need to ke- you know connect the dots on that one. Now, there's also issues and opportunities with increased fragmentation. Bring that out. Well, I mean, obviously, um, I mean, in the United States, um, we deliver data to over 300 publishers. Uh, likewise, in the United Kingdom, we're delivering it to hundreds. So one of the things that we've been able to do is do direct feeds to the uh, publishers themselves, but we also have relationships with the underlying databases of this data that, um, you know, people don't realize that Google buys data, for example, and all the others do as well, from 20, 30, 50, 60 different sources. And those databases represent an opportunity to both clean up the information, but if you don't pay attention to it, you can also get the data wrong. So they can keep sending out bad data from databases that may be coming from a utility record or a government record that may may look at your business by its corporate name versus its what we call street name, right? The name that the business would be known as by the user that when they're searching. So these are the kind of things that we attend to um, and um, as part of our, our process and why we describe it as a universal business listing because we try to hit every location possible. Yes, I can see you're a must-have for every company, and that that means every company. We've got about three and a half minutes left in the segment. Before you go, I wanted to get into and bring this out, the uh, 2013 milestones so that people can kind of get a little idea of the thresholds you, you, you've accomplished, but, uh, but where you see the industry and you in the industry going in 2014. Well, I mean, obviously, um, you know, UBL uh, uh, in 2013, we we did uh, you know nearly three and a half million dollars in revenue. Um, we're at a seven million dollar run rate today, uh, so that's a key objective, which is to continue to uh, to grow that, and we're very confident about it. Uh, we've doubled our staff in the last year as well, so that would give listeners an idea of our growth. Um, we're certainly consolidating our technology. Uh, we're reinvesting in our technology platforms to grow in uh, Canada and the UK and Europe in particular. Uh, we see uh, certainly uh, definitely a lot of uh, mergers and acquisitions in the space. Uh, we are looking at uh, acquiring technologies or customer bases um, on a global basis. Uh, we think there will be a lot of interest around this sector uh, for rolling up a number of these small agencies that have been doing this kind of thing. Um, uh, themselves, uh, or looking to continue to outsource it. So we certainly see a lot of um, a lot of growth in the sector. Uh, every marketing company, every company that's talking to businesses about their marketing programs, is going to have this as a foundational aspect of their business. And we think that you know, just like any industry, there may be a Burger King and McDonald's and everybody else, and UBL is definitely going to be one of those. Definitely, we're part of this picture globally. Yes. Russ, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you on the show. Before you go, please, uh, contact information for you, for anything anything that's come up and people uh, in our listening audience would like to drill down into it and, and actually talk to you in person or your staff in person. Sure. Uh, again, uh, ublinteractive.com is the name of our uh, investor relations website. Um, our functional product website is called ubl.org. Uh, so that's another easy place to get to, and you can find contacts and information about us uh, us at any, either of those locations. And we'd be delighted to hear from any of your customers uh, on on business or on on the uh, the corporate interest and uh, the investor interest. Uh, we're very enthusiastic uh, uh, to talk to. Uh, folks in the, in the industry. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to refer my entire social network to you uh, later today, and I'll, I'll contact you after the show to make that happen. Well, thank you very much, and it's been a great pleasure to be on your show, uh, and uh, thank you to your listeners. Mine too. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right, Chris Travers, President and CEO, UBL Interactive. 
and symbol U B L I definitely a must have. And special thanks to Monk Media and one eight hundred public relations dot com for all their PR and media support. Don't forget we'll be back again at two with market information for you. Critical timing. We'll be right back. 